Hey, what's going on guys? We made it to episode 3 of Max Cash from scratch, and in between the episodes, we ended up going from level 30 range to 60. We got red dehyde, we got the accumulator. We spent a lot of cash though, because we bought about 10k darts. We're looking like 550k cash, so I want to start this out with like making some cash. I'm about to, I think I'm going to go attempt some green dragons, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe get a couple strength levels, and in the process, maybe get a hard clue, so wish me luck. Man, we are looking like a total scrub right now, but we're making some cash. We're about to actually get a level right here. We're about to get our first level if we don't hit like nine zeros. There we go. We just got 60 strength. We are now level 72 looking good. Not sure if I should continue with strength or go to defense. Just knock out 60s and everything. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure of the chances of us being able to complete this, but we just got our first hard clue. I'm going to give it a shot, man. That'd be awesome if we complete a hard clue. Yeah, we actually needed fairy rings for this, and so I'm going to hold it for a little bit because I do plan on being that quest shortly, but right now I want to make a little bit of cash with the green dragons. Just hit 63 strength, man. We got about four levels here. Definitely made some cash. Died probably 20 fucking times, but it was worth it because I think we got over a million dehydes and bones, so about to go sell all those, probably beat that quest, do the clue scroll, and then move on to something else. In total, we ended up killing 286 dragons, so let's go ahead and collect this, see how much we made. Oh man, almost 1.2 mil right there. Once we add that to our cash stack, we got 1.5 mil cash right now. That's nice. Just messed that clip all up, but we just beat Fairy Tale Part 1. Ended up getting 3.5k farming experience, which got us from level 1 to 17, which is actually super nice. Now we just gotta start Fairy Tale Part 2 and we could use fairy rings. Pretty sure we could use these bad boys now. This would be so helpful. It's gonna be so weird not having a fairy ring in my house. Like, I'm like starting from scratch right here, but first step, man. Okay, just crumbled right there. First step, let's see what we got next. Oh, I could definitely do that. Dude, this is fucking depressing. We got five steps in. I think we gotta start Fremnic Isles, which we're like pretty far off of. We need 55 woodcutting. Also need Fremnic Trials too, so like we're quite a ways away, but I wanna beat this clue, man. Was trying to push myself to go for that 56 woodcutting, but I've got like three levels. I'm just not feeling this right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete Fremnic Trials and hope I can get to that point for that clue scroll in Fremnic Isles, so. We'll see what happens. This is probably a horrible idea, but before I do that quest, I want to go ahead and test out triple revs with the 60 range. We have some amethyst arrows, magic short bow. We're probably going to get ripped before we even kill one, but we'll see what happens. Oh shit, we got our first drop. Addy bars, man. Dude, that was terrifying. Just had some people, some ballistas rolling up on me, but uh, luckily they didn't have a major tele block. Let's see what we made right there. Just wanted to do one trip just to test it out. Really wasn't that bad. We made 127k. Okay. Just completed the Fremic Trials. We've got quite a bit of experience right here, and we can use Berserker Helmets too, which will help out a lot. So let's see if we get any levels. Uh, 29 Fishing, 28 Thieving, 18 Fletching, 47 Woodcutting. Okay, we got quite a few levels right there. We're 713 total level. Yeah, so after doing some research on the Fremnic Owls, we actually don't need 56 woodcutting or 46 craft, and we just needed the 40 agility and 20 construction. I ended up getting 29 just because I figured we're going to have to get this up in the future anyway, so I bought a few extra planks, and uh, yeah, I think we actually started now. I think we're ready. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I thought we can get away with not having that 54 woodcutting, but we actually need it, so we did get the casket, though. Let's see what we get, though. Not bad, 85k, and it got us started on a couple quests anyway, so we definitely needed it. I guess now we gotta bust up that woodcut. I don't really feel like doing that right now, though. Yeah, so we actually did need the woodcut, and we actually bought the split logs from the Grand Exchange. Ended up completing the Fremnic Isles. Got two defense levels, got 5k craft and 10k woodcut and 5k construction experience, and we finally got the neat sound. We just need three more defense levels. It's a sweet quest to get out of the way. Dude, so while working on that defense, we ended up getting 53. We also got a hard casket, so let's go ahead and open this thing up see what we get. Oh. Rune full helm, Tina Zami page. That was 550k off the second hard clue. That's bank right there, man. That's nice. Hey, it's been a while since y'all last seen me, but we're getting a pretty big level. We just got 60 defense right there. We got 60 in all the melee stats now. We're also 76 combat. We can actually do Konar Slayer, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, I, just, I haven't been here the whole time. I was at Sand Crabs for about six of the levels. And just kind of been here, like, I think I did like four trips. Just make a little bit of cash because we're about to buy some dragon armor, make some upgrades, man. I'm excited. All right, I was killing those green dragons. Ended up getting a hard clue. We got three steps in. We actually have to start Zogre Flesh Eaters. So we actually got to beat Jungle Potion and Big Chompy Bird Hunt. So those are actually good quests to get out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and do them real quick and then hopefully complete this hard clue. 
did the quick one first. We just completed Jungle Potion, which got a 775 Herbivore experience. We've got a level. Went from level 3 to level 9. Nice. Just completed the last quest, Big Chompy Bird Hunting. This is actually a prereq to RFD also. And we got some experience right there. Let's see if we got any levels. Uh, yeah, no levels, but we can actually finish that hard clue now. Kind of a special moment right here, but we already had an easy clue in the bank, and I was like, fuck it, I might as well get a medium too. And we also got the hard casket, so let's go ahead and open all three of them. Easy first. Four. Easy was 300k. Okay. Come on, baby. What's the medium going to be? 8k, but it doesn't even matter what I get. I just got 300k off that damn easy clue. And then 188k off. Dude, what the fuck? Off those three clues, we just made 500k. This is basically just like a loot tab, but once I deposit this up in here, we got 1.6 mil. It's looking like 3.5 mil total. I'm going to go ahead and sell all this and like see what kind of gear upgrades we could do. We got that 60 defense now. It should be pretty nice. This is insane. Check this out. Lumberyard teleports are 16k a piece. Let's go ahead and collect this sandwich we made. Yeah, we made 1.6 mil, so once we add that to the cash stack, we've got 2.5 mil to upgrade with. Holy shit, dude. We pretty much blew the entire cash stack. We got some upgrades, though. Also wanted to get a couple K casts because I need 55 mage so I can start alkin while training agility. And we got a couple potions to make, so I got a little bit of herbal levels, but let's go ahead and collect this. And let's put on our new gear, man. Got that obsidian plate, buddy. It felt right. We're looking like a savage, too. I think next... I'm going to do the herb lore, then I'm going to go with that 55 mage, because the melee is kind of set for a little bit. And, yeah, man, looking good. Just finished up all 200 of those attack potions, ended up going from level 9 to 22 herb lore. I think we need 25 for heroes in the future, but I'm not going to mess with it. I spent like 16 count real quick. Been testing out this Alkin while Jody, and it's actually not been too bad. I think we've been here about an hour. So far, we've got two mage levels and also three agility levels. We're at 43. I'm going to take a break from this just because... I said it wasn't too bad, but it seriously sucks. It feels like it just takes forever. It's like 12k agility experience an hour and like 32k mage. So, I mean, it's not horrible, but I think it's time to do some quests now. I think my cat should be about done. I'm going to start on some RFD. Holy shit, I didn't realize this cat took three hours to grow. <laughs> Apparently, I was doing agility for about an hour and 15 minutes anyways. So, we got three levels an hour and 15 minutes, but man, we got a while for this cat. That's crazy. I thought it was like an hour. This is just the start to Recipe for Zasher was completed another Cook's Quest, so let's get this started. Before I fully jump into this, I think I need to get my first piece of Graceful. We got 40 marks of Grace, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Cape, and that's our first piece of Graceful right there. Should help out a little bit through all these quests. Just finished up the Mountain Dwarf, got 1k Cooking and 1k Slayer experience. We might have got a Slayer level off that. Let me check. Yeah, we got 24 Slayer. Nice. Just freed the Goblins for 1k Cooking, 1k Craft, and also 1k Farm. We should get a Farming level off this. I think we were 17. Yeah, we got 20 farming already. Got the jumbly for the ogre one, so let's go ahead and use it on him. We get some experience too. 1500 cooking, woodcutting, range, and crafting experience. I don't think we got any levels though. Uh, no, but we got steel gloves for sure. Just free pirate Pete right there. We got 1k cooking, fishing, smithing, and crafting experience. We're also up to 83 quest points already. And this should be black gloves. Let's see if we got any levels. Uh, 46 cooking, okay. And 31 fishing and 9 smithing. Not bad. Just freed up Evil Dead. We got 7k cooking experience. That should actually get us cooking level 2. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, we got 47 cooking. I think we're going to stop here at Myth Gloves and uh, take a break because this has been kind of rough. Dude, I could actually get Addy Gloves after I beat Biohazard. So, I mean, this isn't too bad. I might actually do this now just to go ahead and get it out of the way because check this out. Right now, we're at Myth Gloves, so we're doing pretty good. Just completed Plague City. We ended up getting from level 1 to 15 mine right there, too. Pretty nice. Just completed the Biohazard quest. This should be the last requirement for Addy Gloves, man. We're about to get them. There we go. Just freed the Lumberge guy and ended up getting 2,500 cooking and 2,500 magic. Also unlocked Addy Gloves. That's actually pretty nice for this account. We're actually locked in for a little bit because we can't get Rune until 70 cooking. So I'm going to take a break now. We've got Addy Gloves. I'm going to train to 70 strength. Just kind of AFK it, and then we can go for that defender. About to snag our first pair of gloves. Addy gloves, man. That didn't take long at all. We also got... We almost got 90 quest points. Boys, we about got it, man. Just a couple more hits. Check this thing out. We're about to get 70 strength. About to be able to go for that Dragon Defender. I think while I'm going for the Dragon Defender, I'm actually going to tram defense. I want to get that to 70 next. And I plan on staying 6 attack for a little bit because I want to keep like lower combat. But uh, yeah, hopefully this Defender Ground don't take too long. And I guess we'll see what happens. 
One more hit, man. We're one experience away. And we're level 79 combat, 70 strength. Here we go. Dude, I have been stuck in this Mithril Defender for so long. We're now 65. Oh, we're like 13 experience from 65. But we went from level 60 to 65 almost just to get the Mithril Defender, which is like ridiculous. I think we've been here for about three hours. Hopefully the rest of them don't take this long. Oh, this is a good sound. We did three kills. Got an Addy Defender. Okay. Oh, shit. We just got the Rune Defender. We can now go for the Dragon and just get out of here because this place is terrible. Can't wait to get that Dragon Defender. Dude, we fucking got it. We're level 66 defense. Got the Dragon Defender. Oh, no inventory spot. Watch this thing despawn. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. We just got the Dragon Defender. And we're 35k to 67 defense. We had quite a bit of experience here, but it was definitely worth it. Let's put this bad boy on. Yeah, we're looking like a savage right now. After getting that Dragon Defender, I noticed I was really close to this magic level, so let's go ahead and get it real quick. It's actually a decent little level. We just got 60 mage right there, and I forgot to tell you, but we're 81 combat already. Yeah, so we're actually on an episode right here. Currently at 82 combat. We got 863 total. We actually had a couple more defense levels. We're getting pretty close to 70. We're looking like 89 quest points, and the bank value is at 3.5 mil, basically from armor and whatnot. Nothing too crazy up in here. Plan on stacking up some serious cash next episode. I think the first thing I'm going to do next episode is beat Underground Pass, get the Ivan Staff and Buett, and then head to Borrows. I plan on doing like 100 chests. Hopefully we make like 10 million and just get super lucky, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, if you guys appreciate the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and also this is the last pre-recorded episode, so join the clan chat. I plan on getting a couple people up in here. Hopefully do some bossing with y'all in the future, so hope to see y'all soon. And thanks for watching.